Welcome to the Cospace Robot family. Today, we'll be introducing you to Cospace Robot GP. Cospace Robot is an official platform for both RoboCop Junior Rescue Simulation and RoboCop Asia Pacific Cospace Challenge. Please visit our website to find out more. Line following is probably the most common application in robotics. It is widely used in industries and even hospitals. If a robot can think, the thought process of a line following robot will be very similar to that of a human being. And that can be simplified into three actions. Sense, plan, and act. Cospace Robot will give you a unique first-hand programming experience in such applications. Let's take a look at the Cospace Virtual Robot. It is equipped with six infrared IR sensors for line tracking. One ultrasonic sensor to sense the front obstacles. What is the logic behind the robot's thinking process when it tracks a black line? The six IR sensors mounted on the robot are like six eyes of the robot. When the first left IR sensor, we call it L1, senses the black line, the robot needs to move forward. When the first right IR sensor, we call it R1, senses the black line, the robot also needs to move forward. When L2 senses the black line, the robot needs to turn left slightly. When R2 senses the black line, the robot needs to turn right slightly. When L3 senses the black line, the robot needs to turn left rapidly. When R3 senses the black line, the robot needs to turn right rapidly. This process repeats forever in a loop, and this will ensure that the robot tracks the black line. Let's code a line tracking program in Cospace Robot. Double click on the Cospace GP icon on your desktop. Now choose your level and map, which is also known as our virtual environment. For this video, we'll choose Carnival Practice Field. Double click on the AI button to enter the programming interface. First of all, you will need to create a new project. Click on the New Project button. Please remember to give this program a team ID, a team name, a project name. Remember, once team ID and team name are confirmed, they cannot be changed anymore. However, you can change the project name if you wish. Based on the analysis earlier, we now need to convert the logic into code which the robot can execute. The first statement should tell the robot that when L1 senses the black line, the robot needs to move forward. Step 1. Create a statement named L1 senses black line. Step 2. After the statement name is defined, we'll add conditions to this statement. We click on L1 until it turns black in color. Now this means L1 will sense for the black line. Step 3. We should tell the robot what to do when the condition is met. In this scenario, the robot should move forward. That means both wheels should have the same speed. Step 4. Finally, click on the preview button to see whether you have set the correct wheel speed. Great! We have completed our first statement. Repeat the four steps above to complete statements 2 to 6. Statement 2. When R1 senses the black line, the robot moves forward. 
This is similar to statement 1. Make sure we have set the same speed for both wheels. Statement 3. When L2 senses the black line, the robot turns left slightly. This time, we will set different speeds to the left and right wheels. As the robot turns slightly, the speed difference should be small. Same concept applies to statement 4. This time, the robot turns right slightly. Statement 5. When L3 senses the black line, this means that the robot is almost off track. So the robot needs to turn left quickly. This time we can set the left motor speed to be negative and keep the right motor speed positive. Same concept applies to statement 6. This time the robot should turn right quickly. After we have completed our program, we should do a quick check that the logic is correct and make sure every statement has conditions and actions. Once you have completed programming, it is very important to save and build. Save means to save the most recent program that you have just completed. Build means to check for syntax errors, create a C code and a dynamic data link file with extension DLL. Now you can click on the trial run button to see how the robot will behave. If you wish to modify the program, click on the stop button and you will go back to the AI panel to modify the program. You can load the DLL file and monitor the robot's performance in the control panel. We can use the play, pause, and stop buttons to control the robot's movement. We can also change the viewing perspective from the menu bar. The AI camera gives a helicopter tracking view, or a bird's eye view. The front camera gives a driver's view or a first-person view. We can also put together multiple viewing windows. And a common practice is to keep the overview in the main window and set the front camera in a small window on the side. So you can take a look at details as well as have a good overall picture of what's going on. When the robot reaches the finishing line, it stops and the time it took to reach there will be recorded. Well done! You have completed the line tracking robot program. Let's now work on the iCool challenge. Double click on the CoSpace GP icon on your desktop. Select iCool challenge. Select the map you will be working on. Analyze the map and complete the code. Save and build. Load the DLL file from the control panel. When the robot reaches the finish line, or when you click on the stop button, an ICS file will be generated. The ICS file contains the code, result, and robot trajectory. Save the ICS file and send it to the event organizer. Congratulations on a job well done. Welcome to the Cospace family.
Coastface Robot is an official platform for both RoboCop Junior Rescue Simulation and RoboCop Asia Pacific Coastface Challenge. Please visit our website to find out more.